Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to the Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2 Tournament of Robotic Champions Middleweight Losers Bracket Preliminary Rounds. The rounds will consist of three four versus four all-out battles and one three versus three all-out battles with everyone against everyone. In round one, we have Team Prehistoric Saber Teeth, Team Dragon Samurai. Team Sparks the Boxer Returns, and Team North Polar's Iceberg. In round two, we have Team High Voltage's Slashback, Team Steelyard Dog's Top Dog, Team Megaton's Tempest, and Team The Scrapper's Ripblade. In round three, we have Team Good Old Boy's Blood Runner, Team Blackstorm's Devil 2, Team Spikehead's Insanity, Team Red Zone's Red Alert. In the finals of the preliminaries, round four, we have Team Hex's Locknut, Team Pyrotechnic's Burner, and Team Riot's Vengeance. Now remember, these are the losers of the previously fought middleweight tournament. At the end of the preliminary rounds, we'll have one final four versus four match. The winner of that match will go on to face the middleweight champion to contend him for the title. Now, without further ado, let's start the first match. We'll be fighting in the Robot Arena. The Robot Wars Arena. And here we go! Whoa! Lots of hits going on from both bots. We've got ice. We've got North Polars having a lot of trouble. With saber teeth there. There we go. There's a good camera angle. It looks like Samurai's going up against the boxer. Samurai's torn off part of his plating there. Looks like North Polars has actually been pushed up against the edge of the arena. Unable to move, but he pushes against the pit fall. So now the pit's open. Anyone could fall in there. It could be anybody's game. Seems like... All bots have picked their opponents and they're sticking to them, but North Polars is coming dangerously close to that pit. Looks like Sabretooth is going to be able to push him in there as he tries to self right himself and winds up right in the pit. Unfortunately, Sabretooth seems to have some trouble turning now. He's smoking badly. He's going up against the boxer returns. They clash at the edge of the arena, and it looks like Samurai is being counted out. Samurai is deemed immobile. The last two, Boxer Returns and Ice, or uh, Boxer Returns and Sabretooth are going up against each other. Both have taken heavy damage. Sabretooth backs up for a good ramming charge. With only a minute and 21 seconds left, or 25 seconds, 24, the Boxer Returns has taken a heavy amount of damage, but it looks like he's able to deal more damage to Sabretooth. Sabretooth doesn't actually seem to be able to use his primary weapon anymore. Both bots are smoking very badly. The crowd is enjoying the match, but it looks like Sabretooth is just about done now. Sabretooth with 5,700 points. The Boxer returns with over 8,000. If it comes down to a judge's decision, it's going to be the Boxer returns. Unless he can deal... Unless Sabretooth can actually manage to deal the final hit, doesn't look like either bot is actually able to connect anymore because of the massive amounts of damage. I'm trying right now to get a better camera angle on the two of them, but it doesn't look like doesn't look like that's possible. Someone's being counted out. Moved just enough. They're over there stuck in the corner patrol zone. Sabretooth being counted out now backs up. Leaves uh leaves the boxer return stuck in the corner. Seven seconds left. It doesn't look like the boxer returns can move. He's got 8,000 points. If he can move, he'll win by this points. Nope, he gets counted out. Sabretooth moves on. All right, I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back with the next round. All right, everybody, we're back, and we've got Team High Voltage's Slashback versus Team Steelyard Dog's Top Dog, Team Megaton's Tempest, and Team The Scrapper's Ripblade 2. And for some reason, there's no announcements with this arena, but we'll just do the best we can. All right, and here we go at the start of the match. We've got Flapjack, uh, <laughs> Slashback, and Ripley 2 going up against each other. Top Dog and Tempest seem to have picked each other. 
All bots are giving it their best right now. It looks like Slashback is having some difficulty self-riding right now. Ripley's getting those good hits against it. Tempest is uh, pushing back Top Dog 2 as they hover over the flame pit trap. But it looks like Top Dog is able to push Tempest into the corner of the arena, maybe slowing him down just a little bit. Ripley's seems to be immobile. Not sure if Slashback is still immobile. Tempest 2 and uh, Tempest 2 and Top Dog are getting some good hits against each other, but Top Dog seems to be unable to get at a good angle. Oh, and there's a good hit from Top Dog 2, or Top Dog pushing uh, Tempest, and something goes flying off in the arena. We've got spikes coming off a of Ripblade. Spikes coming off a of Ripblade as Slashback takes the heavy hits. Ripblade is flipped over. Uh, luckily for it, it's an uh, invertible bot. Top Dog still pushing Tempest 2 into a corner. Uh, looks like Ripblade and Slashback are actually hovering over the area for the Flipper Arena. Uh, uh, Ripblade has gone crazy. Top Dog is missing one of its pushing mechanisms. Tempest is tearing parts off of all of the bots. We've got Slashback with over 20,000 points. Top Dog with 4,600 points. Ripblade 2 with over 12,000 and Tempest with over 17,000. Right now it looks like, uh, ironically enough, Slashback is actually the higher uh, points in all of these different bots here. We've got three of the bots with Tempest 2 pushing up into the corner trying to get up to top spinning speed. He has a lot of difficulty seeing as how it... Oh, and there's the Ripblade uh, trap on the edge of the side of the arenas. It looks like two of the bots have teamed up against Tempest 2 to try to stop his uh, maniacal rampage of uh, spinning speed there. We've got more parts coming up a slashback as Ripblade tries to self right and actually hobble over there towards the enemy bots. We're going to press F2 and see if I can get a close-up camera angle on the action. All right, now I don't necessarily like this camera angle in this arena specifically because this is about as close as you can get right here. Looks like we've got some bots coming up close to the uh, middle part of the sectional arena. I'm not sure if it's actually going to activate and drop something on them or not. We've got bots missing parts. Ripblade is completely out of control. Uh, the missing parts on all four bots seems to have um, rendered them very unstable as they... One, one set of bots, we got Tempest 2 and Ripblade hovering around the area for the... Uh, for the uh, down trap that drops things on bots, and it looks like Slashback and uh, Slashback and uh, Top Dog have uh, been become immobile. They're getting counted out right now. Oh, and then they just suddenly woke up, uh, activated the uh, pitfall trap. Ripblade and Tempest are tearing into each other, ripping parts off with over almost Slashback, 30,000 points almost. Uh, Top Dog and Tempest seem to be pushing up against each other until whoa, and there's the countdown timer. It goes to point values with. Ironically enough, unbelievably, Slashback with the 28,633. What a match! I couldn't even move, I was so busy announcing that. My goodness, the points. You would think that Megaton would win in the highest of the damage or Scrappers 2 Ripblade, but somehow Team Slashback's high voltage, or Team High Voltage's Slashback, managed to deal an unbelievable amount of points for a, a pusher slash sli uh, flipper and um, he's only got the three spikes on the top, so I'm really not sure how he did that. That was an amazing round. I absolutely love that. I'll get that written down, and I'll be right back with the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right, folks, and we're back, and I got that last match written down. It was a really good one. And in this round, round three, we've got Team Good Old Boys, Blood Runner, Team Black Storms, Devil 2, Team Spike Heads, Insanity, and Team Red Zones, Red Alert in a 4v4 free-for-all. Remember, again, these are the losers from the middleweight tournaments who are uh, contending against each other to come up against the champion of the middleweight tournament to force, him to, um, to force him to defend his crown. So, without further ado, let's start the match. And here we go. This turns out this uh, promises to be an interesting match with a lot of fast bots here. It looks like from the very beginning, Insanity, I believe it is, has been has flipped over um, Red Alert 2. Or no, Red Alert 2 and Bloodrunner are going up against each other. Devil 2 is actually flipped over. He's not invertible or self-riding. He's he's just been pushed into the corner and just left there. Wow, they completely disavowed him. They just complete complete disrespect. We've got Bloodrunner 2 tearing up or Bloodrunner tearing up against Insanity and Red Alert. Insanity, Red Alert, Blood Runner, I'm just going to remember their names. I'm not going to worry about the twos and threes and seniors and juniors and Esquires the third. 
They've coming up over the middle part of the arena. I don't know if someone's going to drop down. They better be careful. Nope, it looks like they're okay. Oh, and there goes the refrigerator. They just barely avoided it. Wow. Okay, looks like somebody took a huge amount of damage. Insanity has been knocked out by Red Alert. Insanity has just been knocked out by Red Alert. Uh, Bloodrunner barely has any of his spinning main weapon disc left. Um, or, or, actually, is he getting counted out? Oh my goodness, Red Alert just took it to everybody. He just beat the crap out of all of them with over 18,000 points. My goodness. Now, that is, that is interesting. Because the last match turned out to be very long. It took the entire length of um, the three-minute uh, counter timer. And this one was over almost instantly as Red Zone's Red Alert at 18,000 points really takes it to his opponents. And it sort of uh, gives you a good idea for how the... I believe he was the runner-up in the tournament, wasn't it? Wasn't he? It kind of makes you feel like he really is sore about that loss, which is the same thing we encountered in the lightweight tournament. So I'm actually really happy to see that. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back with the next one. All right, folks, and we're back. It looks like I've got some stiff competition uh, in this round. We've got Team Hex's Locknut, Team Pir my own Team Pyrotechnics Burner, Team Riot's Vengeance in a 3 for 3 free for all. 3 versus 3 free for all. And it looks like I've definitely got my work cut out for me, so I'm going to try to do my best and see if I can actually uh, take this thing home or at least um, do the best I can. So I'm going to try to get it into follow mode from the very beginning. Let's see if I can manage that. Oh, and I did make a few improvements in the previous episode that you saw. Um, which was, I think I called it, it was just a test pilot episode. I increased my armor rating. Uh, that was pretty much it. I'm at the max for middleweight uh, weight now, if you saw that. So here we go. Gotta remember to press F too fast. Oh, we're already in it. Alright, we're already in it. Instead of moving, I'm gonna get my spinner moving up to spinning speed and choose my target wisely. I might just want to let them go up, against, oh, go up against each other themselves. Get right up in there nice and easy. Okay, wish I had an easier way to control the bot. Get my cursor out of there. You two, uh, you two. No, no, we gotta, we gotta get up in there. We gotta, we gotta get up in there. Give, give the audience a good show. All right, he's unstable. Let's go for it. Lock nuts, unstable. Boom! Hit him again. Oh God. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm invertible. Uh, I'm self-riding. I'm self-riding. I'm self-riding. Come on, come on. You got this, big guy. Perfect. Got it. Hit lock nut. All right, I'm getting his tire. Popping off against Locknut. I'm going up against the weaker target. Whoa, can't expose my flank to, uh... Oh, can't expose my flank to Vengeance. I don't want to hit his main weapon. His is heavy enough to knock mine off. Gotta avoid the fire. Get the camera angle straightened out again. Okay, if I could just, um... If somebody could just teach me how to go into the de... Uh, into the, um... Into the, uh, debug file. The, uh... If uh, somebody could just teach me how to go into the, uh, bin file and increase the... Rotation of the camera speed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, how about you not do that? Okay, dope. Yeah, you can see the camera needs to rotate and get behind me faster. Get behind me faster. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to control it manually. Alright, hit him now. Hit him hard. Knock his weapon off. Come on, camera. Whoa! I, I'm spinning. Am I still up? Come on, camera, come on. Self right. Self right. Come on, big guy. You got this. Uh-oh, I've run out of, I, I've run out, I'm, I'm a little bit low on power. Let me turn my main weapon off. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm vulnerable. I'm exposed. Okay, try again. Oh, oh, that heavy armor. It's really, it's really hurt me. Oh, I self right at once. Oh, I'm too heavy. I'm too heavy. Ah, uh, James, I'm sorry. Uh, I should have just made him a little bit lighter. Okay, get the main weapon spinning at least, maybe. I, oh! The rotation of the main weapon actually helps with self-riding. I'll have to remember that. Where the heck did he go? Is he behind me? They're behind me. All right, 360 over here. Let him get counted out. Oh man, I don't like this. Come on, turn around, big guy. Screw you. Mm, expose that tire to me. Knocked him out. This is mine. I'm taking it home. I'm taking it home. It's mine. It's all mine. You can't have it. It's mine. Point him towards the flippers. Don't give up. Don't give in. Come on, camera, come on. Keep up with me. Hit him again, hit him again. Keep hitting him, keep hitting him. Whoa, watch the flipper. Hit him towards the center. I gotta lure him over there. I've lost one of my spikes. Okay, zoom out a little bit. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. That'll give me better control. Yes, get towards the center. Get towards the center. Yes! Whoa, watch it! Oh, is that enough? He's exposed his backside. 
Hit him! Get for all the points. Do I have more than him? Oh god, please tell me I have more. Oh, bad sportsmanship. No! Oh, I didn't look at the points because my face cam was in the way. I tried so hard. Oh, I, lo oh, I got the lowest points. I was too... Oh, I was too conservative. I was too conservative. Oh, but man, I went... Oh, god dang. I let him deal so much vengeance to Lochna that he just racked up points like crazy. <laughs> can I run over the flipper? Yeah, I can still... <laughs> I can still control the lot. Whee! I give up! <laughs> oh, man. Well, that sucks, man. Oh, wow, I've actually lost drive control. That flip actually stopped my drive control. Or did I just completely run out of battery life? Yeah, I've got some issue here. See, I can back up, but I can't go forward. Man, that was a really good match. All right, let's uh, exit out of that so I can do the outro over the screams of the audience. Wow. So I'll get that written down. Oh, there he goes flipping. All right, wow. That was a great one for this week. I really loved it. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the tournament. It looks like Vengeance is going to be moving on uh, to the finals. It's going to be a 4v4. Uh, the winner of that uh, four versus four round will go on to face the uh, champion, the middleweight champion. So it's going to be Team Prehistoric Saber Teeth, Team High Voltages Slashback, Team Red Alerts or Team Red Zones Red Alert, and Team Riot's Vengeance. So stay tuned for that match. I think sometime next week, and the winner of that again will go on to. Uh, force the middleweight champion to defend his title and then we'll be getting into the heavyweight tournaments so I hope you all enjoyed the video if you did make sure to subscribe for updates on future content leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below likes are always appreciated until next time take it easy my friends